Richard is 15 from the front in a column of boys. There were thrice as many behind him as there were in front. How many boys are there between Richard and the seventh boy from the end of the column? And then, you know, it is also given that in this question, the number of boys between them is asked, which according to the solution of the test is 35. Can someone explain how? So we have to look at the solution, right? The question is only this, that Richard is 15 from the front in a column of boys. So there's a column of boys. Richard is 15 from the front. There were thrice as many behind him as there were in front. How many boys are there between Richard and the seventh boy from the end of the column? So try to solve this now. Uh, you know, two points is there's a front end and there's a back end, right? This is a column of boys. Richard is 15th from the front in a column of boys, right? Richard is here. Richard is here. His position is 15th from the front end. So how many boys are there between Richard and the front? I mean, like between the front end, I mean, from the first person to Richard, there are 14 boys. And Richard is the 15th one, right? I mean, not between front end and Richard, but from the first person to Richard, there are 14 boys, right? Ahead of Richard, there are 14 boys in front. Right, 14 boys in front of Richard. I'll do one thing. I'll erase the. I mean, I'll, I'll put the arrow this way. So basically, what I'm trying to say is there are 14 boys in front of Richard. Right? Richard is 15 from the front, so 14 boys in front of Richard. Now, if you look at the next point, it says there were thrice as many behind him as they were in front. There were thrice as many behind him as they were in front. So, so if in front there are 14, behind there are thrice of that. Right? 3 times of 14. How much is that? 42. So basically there are 42 behind Richard. 14 in front, thrice behind him as there were in front. So there were 14 in front, behind there should be 3 times. 3 into 14 is 42, right? Now how many boys are there between Richard and the 7th boy from the end of the column? How many boys are there between Richard and the 7th boy from the end of the column? So we have to find out, see, we know that from the end of the column, to Richard there are 42 boys up to Richard there are 42 boys but now the question is from the seventh boy from the seventh boy from the end right and Richard how many boys are there between seventh boy from the end and Richard so it's very simple see you know that behind Richard there are 42 subtract those last seven you're able to follow it, it is like this An easier way to understand is this one two three four five six seven eight nine so on up to there are 42 boys 42 boys before Richard's come, turn comes Richard is the 43rd boy right we have to find out the number of boys number of boys between sorry number of boys between Richard and seventh boy from the end so seventh boy from the end is this guy so one these seven have to be removed remaining are between so what should be the answer 42 subtract 7 subtract these seven boys 35 will be the answer Easy, right? I mean, I mean, I'm trying to explain it using all that diagram there, so it is taking so much of time. Otherwise, it's very simple. From 42, subtract the seven boys, the last seven boys, you will get the answer. 35 will be the answer, right? So 35 is actually the correct answer. N ranks fifth in the class. S is eighth from the last. If T is sixth after N and just in the middle of N and S, then how many students are there in the class? So question from ranking. He's talking about, you know, two or three different persons, right? N is fifth in the class. Now, when you simply say fifth in the class, it is obvious that he's fifth from the top, not fifth from the bottom. I mean, usually there are two ways, right? Fifth from the top or fifth from the bottom. But if nothing is specified, you have to consider the rank to be from the top. Because ranking is in general from top, right? Conventional to take it from top. So N is fifth from top. S is eighth from last. Now, here he's specified very clearly that S is eighth from last. If T is sixth after n and just in the middle of n and s then how many students are there in the class then how many students are there in the class so so let's try this let's say this is the top position and this is the last position right now n is fifth in the class so n is fifth from top right his rank is fifth from top s is eighth from last s is eighth from last right s here is let's say eighth from last if t is sixth after n t is sixth after n so see n is coming from top right n is fifth from top T is 6th after N. 6th after N means what? N is 5th position plus 6th position will give you T's position. So 5 plus 6, 11. T will become 11th from top. Yes or no? How is it 11? 5 plus 6. N was 5th plus 6 persons will give you T's position. And just in the middle of N and S. In fact, the distance between N and T is as good as the distance between 
s n t right so t is sixth after n t is sixth after n which means he comes in the 11th position from top and just in the middle of n and s now if t is just in the middle of n and s can you also tell me what is uh, you know can can we also decide what is s's position from the uh, bottom uh, from the top see so understand simple n is fifth t is 11th so how many persons are there between n and s how many persons are there between n and s between n and s there will be five persons don't say six person because sixth person is t are you able to follow when you start from n sixth person is t that means between n and s and between n and t there are five persons right t minus n is six 11 minus five is six but you cannot take six as the value here because you know you have to consider the number of persons in between n and t so fifth position is here eleventh position here is here sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth five persons in between five persons between n and t if there are five persons between n and t obviously there are five persons between t and s as well because t is exactly in the middle right just in the middle of n and s so based on that can you tell me what is s's position from top see t is 11th t is 11th plus 5 11 plus 5 16 plus one position s position 17th you're able to follow so i can say that s's position from top will be 17th s's position from top is 17th you're able to follow 11th position is t plus five persons in between will make it 16th person and then s is the 17th person so now you know position of one person from both the ends which is s you know s's position from bottom is eight from top it is seven and once you know a particular person's position from both the ends you can find out the total number of students easily right what will be the total number of students first position plus second position or position from top plus position from bottom minus one so eight plus 17 minus one gives you 24 i mean this concept has been discussed in the video of ranking and ordering right eight plus 17 is 25 minus 1 24 so there are 24 students in the class 24 students in the class and there is another way of also another way to solve the question right you can also find out t's position from bottom see you should know one person's position from either of the ends from from both the ends so here we have worked on s's position similarly you can work on t's position as well t is 11 from top if you can find out what is t's position from bottom even that will give you the same total number of persons 24 so that's the answer